we are one minute early. That ain't normal. No, it ain't. It ain't normal. Tell you, well, it ain't a normal night. We're here to do some fun things. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Night Warfare. Uh, Wednesday Night Warfare was something I started a while ago with a desire to try lighter games. Uh, we wound up playing heavy games, which is fine. You know, we like heavy games too. But I had the opportunity while browsing around the Steam Workshop for Tabletop Simulator to discover that they had some brand new Wild West figures. Cowboys and Native Americans and rustlers and all sorts of crazy cool stuff. And I said, I like this period. I don't know any kid that doesn't. If you've been raised, certainly in my generation. So I said, I wanted to try some. Well, what could I do? Well, I said, well, Little Wars... Little Wars TV, of which we're fans, has a set of very simple, free rules called Ruthless. They're done by Mark Fatoso, I think it's pronounced, the guy who does Fireball Forward, the World War II rules. And so I said, well, why don't we do that? And not only did I discover that they had that, but they, in addition, had a campaign for it. So that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to start tonight anyway, and hopefully it'll be awesome. Uh, let me quickly, though, dash out and send out the usual tweet magic. Where's my videos at? Well, first of all, let's talk about who's here. How you doing, Velker? I'm doing well. So We got us a Velker right here. Who is going to come to play? There we are. Do that, do that, do this. Copy this, copy that. And, uh, oop. This, that. It's in. Pow. All right, we're all set to go. And over on the other side, we have Mike, OJ's dad. How are you doing? Yeehaw! All right. He's fully and well in the spirit of the evening. I will tell you, Velker and I actually did try out a sample of this game, and it is exactly what it says on the tin. It's astonishingly simple, straightforward as all heck, and we had a lot of fun. Um, and I hope everybody else finds it the same. So what we're going to do here, I want to do this, this. we go i wanted that custom lighting because i like it a lot whoever did this this background is obviously not mine this is somebody who did a look at this lovely lovely background not just that but check out that lighting huh custom lighting and tts really sets the scene so what's the deal well this campaign which is actually where we're going to start our story tonight is the events that lead up to the gunfight at the okay corral one of the greatest you know, incidents in the american west and it's the story, you know, we, now, you are not a normal American boy, in my judgment, if you do not love the movie Tombstone. It's a favorite in our house. My son and I quote it constantly. But I think we all know that the events are not exactly as they would have occurred in history. And what this talks about is sort of how there are some more nuances, and it talks about some of the events leading up. So let me just read from it. A curious incident occurred on the night of 15th March, 1881, on the road north of Tombstone. Historians still do not agree on exactly what happened, but there is no doubt that this incident lit the fuse for a future showdown between the Earps and the Cowboys. Representing the Earps tonight will be OJ, and representing the Cowboys to the shock and surprise of no one is Velker. What is known is that several masked men attempted to rob $25,000 in Wells Fargo payroll from a stagecoach on the road between Benson and Tombstone. Two men were killed and one injured. A friend of Doc Holliday's was said to be involved. But was Doc Holliday part of the holdup as well? Seems unlikely. But in the aftermath, a posse formed in town to track him down. Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday were part of that posse, though Doc would later be arrested and then released by Sheriff Behan. Over the course of two weeks, posses hunted across Cochise County for the suspects. Historically, the bandits evaded capture and were never arrested. This is a mini-campaign structured in five acts of quick scenarios playable in a single evening. There is a map-based component to the game representing the cat-and-mouse chase between the Cowboys and the Earps. The Cowboy mission, Falcon, is to escape Cochise County for the relative safety of either New Mexico Territory or Sonora, Mexico. The Earp player is going to try to track him down and bring him to justice before they can flee the jurisdiction. The campaign is based, is uses map-based movement. And here's the map. Let's 
Now, on that map, I forgot to ask. OJ, can you see that? No, I cannot. All right. I, I was going to tell you that when I was log getting on, I had a number of errors pop up about not being able to load assets. So. All right, come over here. Can you see all these figs? Uh, let me see. Where you at? Uh, Any white no, cubes? No, I cannot. I... I can see some figs and some white cubes. So this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, what I want you to one. do is anything that's a white cube, I want you to right click it. Yep. And I want you to click custom. Right click and hit custom. Yep. I don't have a custom option here, do I? The sub menu? Yeah, it'd be, no, it'd just be a straight menu item. It would be a uh, looping effect and then right under it, custom. Yeah, I don't have any of those options. I don't have looping effect. All right, so give me one that isn't. Okay, yeah. This one. All right, Luther, Luther King. King. That didn't bring him in, huh? No. Velker, can you see them all? Yes, I can see them all. All right. OJ, what I want you to try to do is I want you to try to load and come back in. Okay. Load and come back in, because they're there. And I did make a copy of the map for you because I realized you were going to need to see that. That's why we test things. Yep. And remember, the other night I had issues. Yep, I do. I do and I'm just wondering if, for whatever reason, it's cached, and that's interfering. Yeah, I don't know. Just throwing out a, 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 a theory. theory. Yeah, so you're going to need that map over there. And Velker's going to move all secret-like on that map. And just so you know, I closed all the way out of TTS and all coming right. right back, coming all the way back in. All right. And both of you are going to start the map with silver dollars. Uh, we start the we start the scenario with the cowboys having four, and the Earps having two, which they can use to do certain things, scenario to scenario. At the end of each act, any characters that were killed are permanently gone for the campaign. Characters that survived but took some number of wounds may return for the next act, but always return with one pre-existing wound of your choice marked as permanent. Note that during a scenario, characters can elect to move off the table edge to disengage, but doing so counts as being lily-livered for the purposes of skedaddle. All right. So this is the overall... Game. Go ahead. I was going to say, it doesn't look like they're going to download. I'm at 86% with 43 of 50 and sitting here. Well, nope, one of them just popped up, so All just right. give it a minute, I guess. So go ahead. All right, so this is the overall map. Now, the only decision you have to make right now, because we're about to learn the rules, is the following. Velker has to decide we're on Act 1. You can spend up to two silver dollars to convince Doc Holliday to join your posse. You roll 1d10, and if you get an 8 or better, modified with that those dollars, you get Doc Holliday. OJ, you get to decide whether you're going to spend any of your silver dollars. You can spend 1 to send additional escort with the wagon leaving Tombstone. You can decide, and we'll, we'll talk about what that is when we get to that scenario. If you want to spend one silver dollar to increase your escorts. So, you are, so I'm going to ask you, uh, let's see, we'll do it, uh, what you doing there? Why are you moving it? I was in the manger. All right. What I want you to do is, uh, well, you got more pieces than that. Yeah, you messed them up. You want me to lock it? H. Yep. Hey, I'm going to jump out and back in because all but two loaded. Just right. want to see if you can get them the all. last two will load. Sure. Yeah. They're all the same pieces throughout all the scenarios. So if you get yeah. them, you're going to get them all. Yeah. That's I figured we had another yeah. couple of minutes. to. Yeah. So what I want you to do, Valker, is if you want to do it, I want you to slide down those coins because obviously OJ can't see. Let me lock this for you. I want you to lock that. Uh, I want you to move those. How many, however many silver dollars you want to spend, just move them off that line and put it nearby. If you do. Okay. We'll wait for OJ to get back. While we're waiting for him, we'll go check and see what's going on out here. Achilles. Jeff has. Yeah, 
if they're, you know, I agree with you, Has there are some limitations to them, and I think that we're experiencing some of that with what OJ's doing. I don't hate the animation because you can pretty well turn it off. And frankly, if you attach them to a base, you kill it outright. But I do like the fact that you can quickly switch them between mounted and dismounted, which is important for the ruthless rules. So I like them on that level. And if you got something better, I, uh, <laughs> and if you got something better, I'd willing to look at it. I just haven't seen it. Right, o OJ. So did you get them? Um, it's thinking. I got right. two SS to download, so it's it's thinking about we'll it. We'll see. Maybe we'll get them. Tempting it. And I, that's what Haz yep. is talking about. There are limits to that. Right. But let's uh let's take a look here over at the ERP briefing. So OJ, your question is, and you got to do it once you, uh, once you're done with finish downloading whatever you get. Once you take, if you want to take a silver dollar and slide it off to the side, and that'll tell me that you have decided to attempt to get additional assistance for your posse. All right. You made your decision. All right. Well, I can see it. Velker, you have chosen to spend one silver dollar to try and recruit Doc Holliday. One D10, because that's what we deal with here. One D10s. And if you get, so therefore, if you get a seven or better, you get Doc Holliday. I thought it was per die. You get one die for a silver dollar, I thought. That's oh, I'm yeah. Saying. There it is. There, yeah, you, I get it. Thank you. So you're going to roll one die and try to get an eight or better. Oh. Oh, just misses. OJ, you have spent your silver dollar, so you will get assistance in the uh, in that whole situation. So we're going to switch over to the battle itself, to the table itself, and we'll learn the rules. Pow. Special shout out to my wife for... Uh, coming up with the hills so quick <laughs> she did these just today with her brand new terrain and i just i like the look a lot so this is the first scenario in the ruthless campaign and let's talk about how the game is played and as i said before it has all of two pages of rules it's played with d10s a deck of 52 cards standard deck right there and every single turn, you're going to be dealt five cards. When you're dealt those five cards, you're going to choose one, placing it face down on the table at the beginning of your turn. You're then going to flip them simultaneously. High card goes first, allowing you to go first. This is decided by, ties are decided by suits, spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. Turn ends when everybody on the table has taken two actions. If you played a three for your initiative card, pretty low, but you played it, you can discard any number of cards you had remaining at the end of your turn. It's how you clear your hand. At the end of the turn, you're going to go back to five cards. There's also special abilities that come from cards, depending when you use them. For example, if you play a seven, one of your characters may take three actions. If you play a three, we talked about that. These other three come up in the context of gameplay. When it's a character's turn, you point to a character, you pick it. It could do one of these eight things. Move. There's your move. This because, yeah, it's me. Everything is doubled. Foot is 12 and 6. Horse is 24 and 16. Okay? What's rough terrain? these trees that's it on this map there's other stuff got you covered this action allows a character to hold his shot until later in the turn when that character you can then take one unaimed shot at any enemy using a move action within your line of sight you lose that marker if that character if your character is wounded or you take a different action or you shoot how are we going to mark it? Well, I've grabbed these Overwatch markers because that's what it is. What's shooting? Short range, long range. Six plus, eight plus. It's on a D10. What are the modifiers? You can aim. That's an action. But that costs you one of your actions. If the fire is gone lily livered, which we'll talk about, that's a minus one. If the target is in partial or soft cover, that'd be in those trees. Anywhere in those trees is soft or partial cover. Minus one. We don't have any hard cover on this sucker. 
If the fire is on horseback, minus two. If you score a hit, we flip this sucker over and we look at the darn, I've been hit table. Right there. You roll to see where the hit is. You will notice that each character has a certain number of wounds depending on where he's hit. Like Harry the Kid Head, for example. He's got leg, arm, chest, and severe. That's a particularly bad thing. We also mark what that effect is. Every time you get a wound and it gets hit there, you get it cleared out. If you go down a point. If you ever lose all those points, that character is dead. Here's your weapons and ranges. Everything doubled again. Notice that shotguns, even though they have the same range brackets as revolvers, have an advantage that they can fire plus two at close range, but a minus one at long. You can fan fire a revolver. What is that? You dump the entire revolver, but you need tens to hit. This does get modified if you're a gunslinger, which is a special ability. What's a snapshot? If you are about to be fired upon by it, or engaged in fisticuffs by an enemy character, you could try to get the drop on him and duck for or duck for cover. You do this by playing a card from your hand that is higher than the card your opponent used at the start of your turn. Opponents cannot play a card of their own to react, so you only get to do it once. It's a single unaimed shot. Fisty cuffs couldn't be simpler. You run into a guy, you're going to both throw a card and play it. High score wins. Loser falls back four inches and takes two wounds. You may play a two in fisty cuffs. If you do, and your opponent plays a card of the same suit, you have struck a low blow. And automatically win. But that's obviously you got to guess the suit right. If you are ever hit or grazed in melee or with a gun, you have to take a toughness check every time. Your toughness is that first value you see next to your character. So again, Harry the Kid Head is a four. He's got a toughness of four. That's good. You got to roll four or better. Otherwise, you become lily livered. You get marked with a chicken. On each and every activation thereafter, you got to run for cover. They immediately move. And then when they get in cover, they can try to get their courage back. You'll notice that they can modify that courage back roll with a card. Or they can play an ace or a face card, which is a shot of whiskey. And gets their courage right back. At the end of every turn, both sides are going to roll a d10. If your roll is less than or equal to the number of your characters that are dead, lily-livered, or unconscious, your men skedaddle and the scenario ends. What is the scenario? I'm glad you asked. This scenario is intended to be introductory. And there it is. It's March 15th, 1881. Every month, a stagecoach carries pay between Tombstone and Benson in the Arizona Territory. Moving that amount of silver and cash on a regular basis is bound to draw unwanted attention, especially in these parts. On May 15th, masked men lie in ambush at the bottom of a steep hill near Drew Station. They wait for the coach to arrive, carrying over $25,000 in Wells Fargo payroll and nine passengers. One of them, Bob Paul, is a former sheriff riding a shotgun. Velker is going to get Bill Leonard, Jim Crane, and Harry Head deployed on foot in the center of the table within 12 inches of the road. Luther King deploys at least 24 inches away, holding four horses. 
Doc Holliday, unfortunately, has not joined them. Marshall Williams on horseback is added to the Wells Fargo party. So there he is up there. You paid your coin, you get Marshall Williams there on horseback. He's not worth it. <laughs> He's a, he, we'll talk about abilities. The stagecoach arrives from the eastern edge on turn one with two men on board. Driver Bud Philpot and former Sheriff Bob Paul. Taking the reins to switch is an action. You probably don't want to switch, and I'm going to tell you why. Whenever the driver takes a move action, the stagecoach goes 12 inches. The driver may use a special whip action to increase the move by plus D2, plus D6 times 2, but on a roll of 5 or 6, one random horse takes a wound from exhaustion. If your stagecoach ever moves off the trail, you're going to have to roll a D10, and you might have to bounce in a certain direction as you're jolted by a rock or other bad ground. You can use the stagecoach to ram cowboys on foot or on horseback. <laughs> you know, oh, so, I'm sorry. Yeah. Did, did, did I laugh out loud? <laughs> I'm sorry. And in turn, wait for now Velker gets to laugh. The cowboys may intentionally target any of the horses pulling the coach. <laughs> if the shot hits, the exact horse is randomized. Each horse gets three wounds. And each horse that gets killed reduces the movement rate by two inches. If fired on, Phil Pot and Paul, the guys on the are considered to have light cover. Phil Pot and Paul will not skedaddle. If the driver gets lily livered, the coach swerves. Immediately take a random three inch move as described earlier, six inches I should say. The coach could bounce off the trail. How do the cowboys win? If both Philpot and Paul are killed or unconscious, they rob the coach. If the coach escapes off the western table edge, they lose. And we go on to Act 2. If all four original cowboys are dead, the campaign is over and the cowboys really lose. The Earps win if the, co if the coach escapes off the western table edge with at least one posse member alive or if the Cowboys skedaddle. They lose if Phil Pot and Paul are dead or unconscious, and the coach is stopped. Now you'll notice that these fellers have some abilities. Let's take a look at them. Marshall Williams, he's drunk. That means he never gets to aim, ever. Over here, Bud Philpot, he's a skilled driver. Twice per game, you get to play a face card. It has to be a face card to add movement, to, to add to your movement for that turn. But you've got to play a face card from your hand. With him is Bob Paul. He's a law dog. Law dog means he is only allowed to shoot once he's been shot at. And the fact that he is lucky means he gets one re-roll per game. How about Harry the Kid Head? He's a gunfighter. Mm. That means he gets a plus one to all the shooting rolls. He's also got a trigger finger, which means his snapshots are plus one. Bill Leonard, he's a dirty cheat. Once per turn... He gets to steal one of your random cards and give you one of his. Slim Jim Crane, he's got a Bowie knife. That means that he in he if there is a fisticuffs and he's in it and he wins it, he gets to move the damage done to you on that Dern I've been hit chart up or down one level. properly update some of this ammo he's also, a cool hand. he's also a cool hand which means he he gets to he gets to basically is it he gets to skip it yeah he gets to ignore a toughness roll he gets to ignore his first toughness roll that's why he's got that one there 
And we take a look over here at Luther King. He is unprepared. He never gets to reload. And he's got all four of the horses of the Cowboys. So. Questions? Have you read Red's latest adventure in the chat? I, I it, It's kind of amazing, <laughs> yeah. That's Sorry, just, Red. That's just, Red, man, we're not laughing at you, man. We're laughing with you. Yes. That's what, what else are you going to do? And yes, these are the Little Wars rules. Available for free on their website. Free, free, free. Best things, in, best things in life are, I guess. Free filters on it. There you go. Any questions? All right, because I'm just going to deal some cards. Everybody gets five. Here they come. Pick your first card for your first initiative. Place it face face down in front of you, please. Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, he's like he's to have that. and uh, he's gonna, uh, gonna take, take that one, yeah. Because he's a dirty cheat. I'm a dirty cheat. What can I say? Can I get one of his back, or he just yeah, he did? He I gave you one back. One. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. There it is. Uh, give me a second here. Mm -hmm. The first time through makes sense. Take a look at that. Okay. Got your card? Yep. Flip it. Queen of Spades. Queen of Spades. King. Space. Oh, so the uh, the Earps play. And when do they come on? Did you say now? Oh, these guys do. Oh, which guys? I'm sorry. Oh, they're on oh uh, they do not come on. Those are extras. Don't worry about any of that. And Velcro, uh, okay. are you set up proper within six inches, within twelve inches of the road? And he's is he at least twenty four inches away? Yes. Okay, and you said the wagon can move how far? It, uh, that wagon moves 12 inches per action, and that action is taken. That consumes the action of Philpot. Right. So you got two of those. But the horses are not attached to the wagon, so. Yeah, right. That's on purpose. It just yeah, doesn't. No, 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 that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Yep. What, what, so that's one. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, how many actions does he get this turn? Two. He gets two. Okay. Mm -hmm. All your characters get to. And what's it take to, to make this turn up Nothing. Here? Do it. Okay. Oh, so used to having penalties. Oh, yeah, I get it. Up. I get it. Actually, probably just going to stop there and make the turn the next. Yeah, or you can you can do that. That's fine. I mean, because that would just push him up just over 12 if I did that. Because remember, the other thing you can do is because they're not. Remember I said you, you, you observed they're not connected? Uh-huh. Set them down for oh, a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying. You just turn, you just pick them up and t make the bend there. Yep. That makes sense. There you go. Look at that. Boom. All right. So now you got Bob Paul up there. I don't know if he can. I don't think he can shoot nobody, though. Well, remember, he too, he's a law he's, dog. He's a law he, dog. He can't, he can't shoot, shoot, nobody. shoot nobody. But you also do have Marshall right. Williams. Now, he's not a marshal. That's his first name. <laughs> okay. And he can move, let's see. How far can he move there on horseback? 12 also? It's a double, remember, so that's 24. 24. You're schmoozing. All right. Two and you, got, you get two actions, that's only one. Oh, that's right, I do. Oh, Achilles, dude, ow. Why do you think I don't ride a bike? Ow. I ride a bike. I've only been injured oh, yeah. once. Yeah. Oh, that's not true. All right, so you're over there like that. 
Mike? Yes. All right. Yep. So I reckon that's it for you. Okay. Velker? All right. Well, we got Slim's in Crane and Big Dick and stuff. And I ain't close enough to get in Fixy Cup, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just run after him with a Bowie knife. Are you forgetting who you're talking to? He will True. do it. True. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's still going to be long range. All right. It's going to be eight plus. Eight All right. Nine. See, this is, come on. You got to, come on. I know I know how you're feeling, Hans, but come on. You got to like this a little bit, don't you? Wait, wait, wait. wait. We got to wait for it here. Where'd it go? There it is. Pow. Draw. Like that. Uh, what? That's, you, you pulled his gun out. He didn't do nothing for me. Oh. He's weird for me. Is he? Well, it looks yeah. good here, so. Uh, all right, so you're uh, you're gonna shoot that revolver, yeah? Uh, I am. And is that long or short? It's long. It's a big kid. All right, long range, eight plus. Yep. Well, oh, I miss. Pew, miss. Darn, I miss. Oh, question. Yep. Does that shoot act allow Bob Paul to start shooting? Let me have a look. I don't think it does. I think you got to shoot at Bob Paul or something he's on. But let me take a look at the exact language. Okay, I'm just curious. No, that's a fair I question. They fired a prong, but I don't know. I don't properly know. Uh, didn't you see how buff Mr. Crane is? He's <laughs> got biceps. <laughs> He's got that feller's got biceps. Yep, that's the biggest word I know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's next? What does it say? I, I'm getting there. Don't worry about it. I, it's going to affect how I Oh, play. it's going to affect your plans? Okay, very good. Do, 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 law dog. Yeah, the enemy's going to have to fire at him first. Alright. In that case, Harry's going to move his, let's see, how far is 24? And by the way, I take that to be anything on that wagon. Once the, Once the fight commensifies. Yep. I'm sorry, Jim. Did you say yes or no? He he does not activate. It, yet. He does not activate until you shoot at that either him or at the stagecoach. Right, and then gotcha. Luther King also play in the back. Mm -hmm. and just to move his story. Bring in the horses with him. All right, no other actions. All right, next round. And what did he shoot at me with? A um, revolver. Revolver? Yep. So that took him from six to five? Yep, yep. exactly. Yep. Where'd your discard go, Mike? You already ditched it? Uh, I did not discard it. I mean, it was laying there. Yeah, that, that was it. I must have picked it up. All right. Yeah. All right, one card for each of you. One card. Oh, Velker's going to steal something from you. Count yeah. on it. Um, I'll hand you this. And I'll I would. Oh, hey. darn. That ain't much better. <laughs> Honestly, that's worse. And remember the special abilities. If you play a three, you can discard as many cards as you like at the end of the turn. And if you play a seven, one card can have three act one act one figure can have three actions. All set? Flip them. King or diamonds. Oh boy. Oh three. three. Mike gets to discard. Alright, Velker, you're up. Alright, we're gonna start with Slim Jim Crane here. Alright. <laughs> oh Lord. All right, he comes in and gets you. I'm going to wrestle you off that horse. <laughs> I'm a wrestle. All right, this is Fisty Cups, Mike. So what you're going to do is you're going to take one card, put it face down. Remember that you can do a low blow, but then that's just a deuce. But it's got to match the suit that Velker plays. Otherwise, high card wins. All right. Okay. Flip him. Ten of dimes. Oh, 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 that was close. Ha, you smacked off of that horse. You smacked off his horse proper. 
All right, so what we do here, horse first mine. thing I got to do, that is not your horse. You, well, you can thieve it. You actually can thieve his horse. Yeah. But anyway, that knocks him back four inches. Weird, he's still on his horse for me. I wonder what's going on. I don't know. It looks fine to me. There's his horse. Yeah. Interesting. So, all right, so he's off his horse. And, and he's here. Now, Velker's taken, or sorry, uh, Marshall, you've taken two wounds. So please roll 1d10 for the first one. Uh, there it is. Sorry, I was looking for the dice roller. Mm -hmm. uh, a four and a seven. Four and a seven. That is an arm and a gut punch. Oh. Ow. Uh, only one shot per turn for the arm shot. Gut punch, no shooting effect. Knocks him unconscious in fisticuffs. Yeah. All right, so the arm effect. And I'll, I will keep those results. Oh, that's right. You could move them, couldn't you? Yeah, I'm fine with that. One shot per turn. All right. That I'm the, unconscious? Yeah, that knocks you unconscious. So what we're going to just do is we you have got this. got a nap position? Yeah, we do, actually. Like that? Wait for it. I did it. He's knocked out. Look at that. I still can't see it. it. I did that already. Look. <laughs> awesome. That's an order than I could see it. Let's he is proper knocked out. Could I take a peek on your screen? Sure. Oh, oh he's knocked out. And that horse is mine. All right, so he's knocked out. Now, let's remember how we recover from unconsciousness since that was sort of glossed over in the rules since it didn't happen before. You can get that to happen by playing an ace or a four during the... Uh... <laughs> Where did that go? You got to play it on a, for initiative, an ace or a four, and that wakes up all your unconscious characters. Nap time's over, fellers. So that sends him down for a little nap with that nasty gut punch. All right, rest of your guys, Valker. Let's see how far am I? Ooh, I'm a good distance. Uh, Harry should have six ammo. He didn't. He said his ammo count. Who's that? Harry. And I got three shots. And there you go. Let's just see. So, how far is he? 36. I guess he is 24. That is just in range. Oh my goodness. All right. Bam. I got a bud pill pot. So, you're going to shoot a bud? Long range. Uh, so it's an eight minus one because I'm a gunfighter. So but plus seven. one because he's got cover. Oh, uh, so that's still an eight. Eight or better. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Pew. That's nasty. All right. Um, so what you're going to do now is you're going to roll again, Mike, 1d10 for where that wound is. Four. I believe that's a graze. No, it ain't. Oh, that's it's his arm. arm. Yeah. And this again. Guy, what gives you the option to move the table up and down? That is. I have that up right here. That could change the game dramatically if I can move that to a leg. And I what? No, it's. What, what do you got? Gunfighter? I got gunfighter. He's got trigger gunfighter finger. and trigger finger. Trigger finger. No, that's just for snapshots. All right, what does that What do lets you do it? it? What lets you do it? Is that an aim? No. Nope. Maybe, yeah, maybe that's an aim thing. Like if you aim, you get to do that? Well, aim gives you a plus one to hit. Right. I know right. that. I remember that too. Here. Yeah, aim shot. If it is aim. Mm -hmm. If you aim. So he didn't, so he took it in the arm, but now he's got to check and see if he's gone lily livered. 
Um, that would be amazing if you do. That would be. Uh, so, Bob Paul, you got to roll a 1d6. Why doesn't he have his toughness on here? It's not at Bob Paul. It's not at Buzz Philpot. You did not tell me that. I did. I did all this other stuff for the wrong reason. Why you do that to me? I, I, I said it. You just weren't listening. Uh, I see. Apparently. All right, you need a five. Well, remember, they'll never skid. If that's right, if he skedaddles, they're gonna. Oh, that's right. He then the skedaddle, but he'll go with liver and the the carriage will uh, swerve. Right, move. right. You said a one d six. A one d ten. One d ten. You need okay. a five or better. Oh. Nope. Oh, he's Got a four. Swerving. All right, so now he is so he that that causes him to swerve, and the swerve oof, this is this is cascading rather badly for you, Mike. I don't mind saying, uh, <laughs> um, they will not skedaddle if he becomes lily liver. The coach swerves immediately. Take a random six-inch move as described earlier. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll do it like a clock. One d ten being forward, uh, or or this being noon. So let's give me a. Give me a 1d10, Mike. Six. Six. That's, oh, wow. That's straight backwards. Yep, they're going to try to turn around, basically. <laughs> the horse is reared up. They're panicking. <laughs> the, chick the chickens are noise. straight off the road. That you can't get him that close. Bob Paul's levitating. Yeah, he always does. That's an acid bundle thing. Oh, no. I and, uh... <laughs> we just know he is. Um, oh. Right. So he is, and so he's going to have to sort that out in his first turn if you're going to hope to get that thing back under control. Um, all right. So that was the Harry the Kid Head shooting. Well then, I'll bring Bill Leonard closer. Is this all the way above? Actually, no, I'll bring him back. Oh, I see how I should interpret that. I got it. It's actually like this. The whole thing just repositions. All right. So there he is, and then Lewis or King moves up a little bit. All right. And he will. Hey, has just so you know that wasn't fisticuffs, not shooting. Yeah. That was fisticuffs. So there it is. So he's unconscious. Yeah, he came running out there like a crazy person. Um, so you're all set? Yep. Mike, you're up? Yep. In order just, to says get he got a, just says he got 11 inches of snow. I'm yeah, he's showing, he's, has he has shown pictures, no doubt about it. I'm, I'm amazed he still has, has internet access. Our buddy Vance had fourteen over fourteen inches on Sunday and another four today. They're in the Great White North. So what you'd okay. have to do here is you gotta check and see if you can get Bud Philpot back under control. You can okay. you gotta get a four you gotta get a five or better. You can play one face card out of your hand to improve your chances on that die roll. It doesn't have to be a face card, you just or just a card. You can play any card, card on your hand, yeah. Okay. That way. Got it. Mm. So he is back. Um, the stagecoach is going to roll. So right. yeah, it's it's got its it's got its movement. So you can go. And then so does Lucky. Right. So does Bob Paul take a, a a a negative on his roll to shoot? No, because he's on the stagecoach. Mm -mm. No. no, not not if okay. he was on horseback, he would, but not on the stagecoach. Isn't there a chance that it hits a rock or something? If yeah, he's gonna have to roll on a one d ten if he once he starts moving. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I might as well do that now since he's getting moving. 
I'm just making sure that that's what he's doing. So all right. So what? Yeah. So once he once he moves, he rolls one d ten. Twelve, right? Yep. So roll one d ten on a one to four. You bounce in a random direction. You're fine. Eight. So you got that twelve, and now you got another twelve. And that's just for Bud. That doesn't. Correct. Bob Paul has Bob... his own set of act activations. All right, Bud's done. Mm -hmm. Just for aesthetics, we gotta sure. turn the whole perspective. Absolutely. All right. right. Um, let's hop over here. Let's see if we can. Oh no, we can't wake him up, can we? No, not without an ace or a Marshall. four. Yep. Okay. Um, Bob Paul's going to shoot at the kid. With? He's got two weapons. The shot. The shotgun. I figured as much. Uh, it's closer. It's got to be close range. Yeah. It's close. It's ten point eight. And uh, yep. So, yeah, that's a plus two. Yep, Velker's right. That's a four or better. On a 1d10? It's all 1d10. Oh, ah. oh man. Miss. You, missed. you can shoot him again. You can do it again. Yep. Uh, I think I only had one shot in that shot. No, yeah, right? you, get, you always you have, have two. two. You always have two. Oh, okay. All right. Yep, we'll go again. Oh, there yeah, we go. We ten. Time. All right. And Velker, roll 1d10 for where it is. Oh, it's in the leg. Is it one or a two? It's in the leg. He only gets one move per turn. Does become lily livered. He needs a four or better. Oh, oh he does. Oh. oh, no. Oh, Lord. Now, see, we get to do the other thing we like to do with him. I did a kill. It's I gave him both barrels. Only got one of them to hit, but gave him to him he's, both. He's not done now, and he gets the chicken. <laughs> the chicken dance. Is he facing the right way? And you must now immediately run to cover. Twelve inches. Run away, chicken! Run away! Now we'll face him the other way because that's where he's running. Oh Lord, help me! All right, so that's done. You can't do anything with that. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's all she wrote. So help me, Mama! Oh, somebody shot me. Somebody, I've been shot. All I'm right. Big. OJ, you because you played a three, you can discard as many it. cards as you like. Okay, done. <laughs> you, t you took a bullet to the knee, did you? How many cards do you need, Volker? I need two. And OJ needs four, right? Yes. You can have this. I'll take that one. Okay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Cards face down. For initiative. Threes allow discards. Fours and aces allow recovery from unconsciousness. Flip. Okay. There it is. I got five. Cause I... All right, you're going to go first, but that's going to allow him to recover Fuzzy over here in his yeah, turn. I, fi I figured he was going to go for it. Yeah, so if he could. I stayed just above it. All right, Belker, you're up. I'm going to attack him again. This this is this is rotten ah. is what this is. This is rotten because it's allowed for. There's no doubt about it. But you do have to, <laughs> you do have to move proximate. I'm a proximate. Don't you worry. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Gillies was calling for it. <laughs> Jeez. The well, what do you here. expect out of a tanker? He loses automatically roll two wounds. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, he... He's unconscious. What's he going to do? He just woke up, didn't he? No. It's, oh, it, I'm it, sorry. It, do, do I need to roll? Let me, let, me, let me check that. If he I was pouring some coffee. Let me, see if he, let me see if he winds up waking up real quick. Because obviously that's coffee good. at 748? That's gonna what? What are you talking oh, about? Okay, you say you were pouring coffee. Pouring coffee, huh? Yeah. Cough syrup, I said. Oh, I cough syrup. I said coffee. That's cough syrup. That's different. Oh yeah, it is automatic, so he's up. So he does get to at least have a fight this time. 
You gonna stand him up? Whoa. Can we find his hip pocket? There, there, found it. It's his feet. It's at his foot? It's at his feet. Yeah. He's back. All right, so you come running up to him. Cards out, gentlemen, once again. Highest card, obviously, the, the deuce for the low blow. Flip him. Queen of hearts. Jack of hearts. Yeah! Just wins. Oof. This horse is mine. You get out of this town. This town ain't big enough for I don't, you know, You know, you're just not acting right, Velker. You're just not acting right. Two wounds, Mike. Yep. Uh, one and a seven. One and a seven. Leg and a, another gut punch. Is, is he already shot in the leg? Uh, yep. Oh, yeah, but that's... Oh, wait, no, he's that's got one, he's got one left. It's one shot and one move per turn. He's not hitting the leg. Yeah, one shot, one move. And he's knocked out again. <laughs> oh. And I can do it again. Yes, you can. Go back down into your knocked out state. Down he goes. Can I go into brawl state? I can't see if that's. No, you can't, because you'd have to move. Oh, that's right. If you move, you get into fisticuffs. Never mind. Right, but like for my yeah, it's, animated it's, character, I see he has his gun out. Can you put him in brawl? Is it? I don't. Not everybody has a brawl. I think he does though. There it is. Yeah, he's, he's ready to fight. All right, so you're gonna move him up to brawl. Yep. Yeah. And you're gonna win. Now you're gonna roll your two. Now you're gonna roll your stuff. <laughs> Kicking. Him. Un yeah, you're kicking an man. unconscious man. Let that be clear. <laughs> Go ahead. Mike, you got to roll 2d6 for the wound. Or 2d10, sorry. Yep. Oop. Oh, one there, I think. Uh, two and a nine. Two and a nine. Boy. Leg and a chest. All right, I'm... They're the same. Uh, I guess he'll take another three leg. Thanks for the it's interesting. You're not killing him, but you're chopping him to bits. All right, that's it for Marshall. Wait, 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 that's wait, it for wait, Crane. Wait, wait. What? Uh, let me check. Can I move anything so that we kill? No, because nothing, nothing was that. Nothing was within one. He had two on his chest. I took it down. Right. I just, well, he rolled a nine, so I can move it up to a severe wound because all of them knocked him unconscious. Never mind. Who's Never mind. next? All right. Uh, Luther King's going to aim and take a shot. At the driver. Wait, is he in range? Probably is, dude. He is. 36. Yeah, that's fine. Um, it's gonna be eight Long nine. Range. Is that right? Yep, nine. In, it's gonna be a nine or better. But I'm aimed, so. Oh, you're gonna take one and aim. Yeah. Eight, eight or better. Come on. Nope. Nope. All right, then that's all he's got. Mm -hmm. uh, Harry's gonna run into these trees, mm -hmm. and he's going to go for getting back on the field. That gives me four. All right, so he needs a base automatic then. Yeah, it's automatic. So he's back in the fight. Uh, he's good. I'm trying to rotate him, but I keep moving him. There you go. All right. And then we got Bill Leonard right here. Okay. He's going to fan the hammer into the horses. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Belker, I'm going to tell every girl at your school that you're shooting horses. <laughs> There's only one girl in my class that would care about that. All right. So oh, you will <laughs> when they six. come after you. Is no, he a, no, is he a, I'm going to shoot at Bud. I can't is, shoot at Bud, Bill Pot. All right, you're going to shoot at, you're going to shoot at Bud? Yes. And are you going to fan the hammer at him or no? I am. That's uh, six shots for tens. One, so five. Oh, I got one. I got two. Oh. Pew, pew. Two hits. All right, on Bud Philpot. This is that, that, I don't know. 
Alright. Damage? Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Explain why he got so many dice. Just... Because he fanned the hammer. He pulled out his fanned revolver. And he just dumped his revolver into you. And he needed tens. Yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Two hits. And it uses all my ammo. Yep. All his ammo is gone. So you're going to roll for two hits. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, four and an eight. Arm, chest. Cannot aim. Only one shot per turn. But that's against the horses, though, right? No, no. He changed his mind. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I missed that. Yeah. I decided that would be a waste of my time. I want to shoot the horses, but I know for the better of this robbery, I'd best shoot the driver. Yeah. How close am I for Bud dying? Oh, we got one in the arm, one in the chest. Mm -hmm. Low. All right. Uh, that's all of me. All right. OJ? All right. Bob Paul's going to shoot. Revolver. Mm -hmm. They're at Bill Leonard. All right. It's a close range shot. Six or better. Missed. You can go again if you want. Yep. Gonna do a second shot. Missed also. Damn. Wow. All right, and then Bud's just gonna start riding off here. All so right. on both of Black his turns. So there's and remember, there are two abilities you've got here. If you have a face card, and I don't recall if you do, you can play uh, it. You can play it twice for for the whole game to get a little extra speed. In addition. You can also whip the horses, which would, uh, let's see, where does that go? Come on now. Um, you can use whip action to increase the speed by 1d6 times 2, but if you roll a 5 or 6, one random horse takes a wound from exhaustion. All right. Not yet. We'll, we'll hold off on that. All right. And then the second move is just going to bring him up to here. Yeah, he's not quite at the turn yet. What's that? He's not quite at the turn yet. Nope. Ah. Grab the wagon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was. I just grabbed Paul by mistake. I was zoomed out some, so I didn't. Wasn't it close enough to. All right, they come riding along. All right, and then that's everybody. All right. Mike gets two. Fucker gets three. That's right. <laughs> Jeff said he's uh, his granddaughter would not be happy with you, Velker. Oh, sorry. Mike, I gave you one too many cards. All right. What was that? Uh, uh, yep. Yeah, that one. I, I know. I'm going to give you okay. one. Okay. Velker, you're green, right? I am. There you go. My goodness. Yep. My hand's something to marvel at. <laughs> it's something to marvel at. Don't mean it's good. It's just marveling time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Has death of 10,000 stomps. All right. You ready? Bro. Oh, there we go. Seven. Nine. Nine. Mm. All right, that's seven. What does that seven give you? Three actions. That's right. Oh dear. That's three actions in a turn. All right, Velker, you're up. Or one character. Not, yeah. Right. Not for each. All right, Harry. Well, no, 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 no. Let's let's start with the one that everybody wants to see. <laughs> you know, Ukraine kicking can... this man into dust. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall Williams is going to be super sorry he accepted that one dollar silver yeah. dollar payment. One dollar and suddenly he's getting I don't know. He may never hands. collect it, so it may well, be no, yeah, point. it's true. No, maybe the, the best uh, silver dollar that Wyatt Earp ever spent. Yeah. <laughs> Achilles is pointing out that being a drunk is probably the only thing that's keeping him alive at this point. <laughs> you got so much alcohol pouring out of him, none of the blood's yeah. coming out. Yeah, it's I reckon not. All right, that's an automatic hit. You're gonna walk up to him, bam, fisty cuffs, and uh, again, you got to roll for two hits, man. What do we got? A three and an eight. Three and an eight. A three is the arm which kills him. An arm in the chest. Stomped so hard in the chest, his solar plexus caved in. 
<laughs> oh no, the arm doesn't kill him. The chest does. Interesting. Yeah. I knew the chest would get him, but yeah. He's got no more, no more laughs in him. I cannot believe you literally kicked this man to death. <laughs> I ain't sorry. Think about who we're talking about here. I mean, but you kicked him to death. You did. He was unconscious. You could have left him be. No, I couldn't. Yes, you could have. <laughs> Don't you even lie to me. I'd rather he not come back with his Vel shotgun. Velker, he's learning so much about you today. I, I said, you, uh, you know what? You just. You know, I'd rather I'm, not have him suddenly wake up, put a shotgun to my back, and blast me in half. That's. I, that's going to make interesting pillow talk for your parents tonight. You know, sweetie. <laughs> Tell you All what. right, well, now that he's dead, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to his horse and And not in a good sense, either. No, well, you can walk up to him. You'll have to mount him next turn, yeah. though. Yeah. Oh, 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 now you're stealing his horse. Yeah. Killed a man. Killed him no, and no, stole no, his horse. I... Knocked him off his horse. Yes, you did. Knocked him until he's unconscious. He wakes up. I knock him back unconscious, start kicking him until he dies. I walk over to his horse and take it so I can finish the robbery he was defending. I don't know how you're going to sleep tonight. All right, you're next. What's next? All right, we're going to go Harry. What's gonna he going to do? Some shots at Bud. Just shoot a Bud? All right, with, with what? He's going to take aim. He's going to shoot with his revolver. All right, you're going to aim? All right, let me get a looping effect here. So it'll be five or better. Short range. Uh, what are you talking about? He's plus he's got plus one for a minus one for the cover, plus one for gunfighter. Oh, he's the gunfighter. Yeah. Mm. Then you're yeah. accurate. Five or better. Yeah. Nah. Mike, one hit. Uh, two. One leg. leg. You can move it if you want. You could I'll move. move it to his arm so he dies. <sighs> yep. Why would he die? Because if you lose all your hits in one area, you're dead. I shot his arm. Yeah, but he hasn't been hit yet. That's he, why. Oh, I'm hit. sorry. He's shooting at Bud. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. All right. So Bud, Bud Philpot is dead. You're going to have to transfer using one action Bob Paul to drive the wagon. Okay. Just so you know. All right. So that was one. That was both Harry the. That was both his actions, all right. All right, now we take Bill Leonard, and he's just going to sprint. All right. He ain't going to shoot. <laughs> Red saying don't get old with with, with uh, Velker around. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is what I'm thinking. It is this that I am thinking. <laughs> what do you mean don't get old with me? What's that supposed to mean? His, his, his mother has more influence over him than you do. <laughs> Achilles for Velker no. the Purge is an instructional video. <laughs> Don't sign that POA, Jim. I'm telling you. Oh, I'm telling you. Power of attorney. It's where you have control over by death and life. Just put the, the pillow over his face and push. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. So Bill Leonard ran like no, a. Well, I ain't that. I'm gonna take a knife and take a knife and carve you up like a trout. All right. No, I can. How about Luther King? All right, he's going to. Let's see, I still got my. Uh, should he have my eight ammo? Yeah, he only shot once. Okay. Uh, in that case, he will aim and shoot at uh Bob. Okay. Uh, it's obviously short range, so I would say a six. Got it. Wound? Knock him unconscious, right in the chest. Come on. Oh, wait, no, that's a severe wound. Never mind. Maybe not. Six. Graze, no effect. Wait, no, wait, no. I, I aimed. I can move it. You can to a seven. No, that's that's only fisticuffs. Oh, There's yeah, so you can't. You can't. No yeah, you can't do nothing. All right, however, however, even though he is grazed, which is good fortune for him. He does have to. Um, he is. He might be lily liver. Yeah, he has to check in now. Why, in heaven's name, I don't have his stats. I do not know. Let me uh, get Bob Paul here real quick. He's. Oh yeah, he's a four. So he's four. Four better, Mike. To keep him from going lily livered. Yeah, I haven't been rolling too well tonight. Man, 
like I said. Dude. Man, I, I, I'm sorry. Saving all those better rolls for uh, Saturday night, I guess. I guess. Um, so we need a 1D10 to determine, or 1D10 to determine your direction. Well, he ain't driving yet, is he? Oh, that's right. Uh, one. Yeah, he's not driving. Yeah, that's still, that's straight ahead anyway, so he's got to jump. So that part doesn't matter so much, but he's, because remember, they never skedaddle. Right, so he's going to, but you got to roll for that. Yeah, otherwise he's just, I, I well, suppose. No, you don't even have to roll for it, don't skedaddle. Yeah, because if that's right, if you get him, he just swerves. Right, so he just got a minus one to shoot you from now on. No, 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 he just, what he does is he swerves six, actually, he, I get it now. He does this. He's swerving in my horses. Mm-hmm. No, Philippe. All right, what do the horses do for getting out of the way? That's the deal. I see it now. They run over Luther King. Yeah, I don't know if he's... It doesn't get that far because it's only six inches. But the uh, the the way it reads... Give me that scenario. Come on now. Round of fisticuffs. That's for the horses, though, ain't it? Mm hmm. <laughs> well, Why I, not? I don't really care about the horses. Well, but they'll take the wound otherwise. Okay, if you don't care. <sighs> I don't care. Because the best that can happen is they dodge out of the way. Right, so they're there. Uh, well, we're doing a round of fisticuffs anyway. Yeah. Just to find out what happens to the horse. Might as well. Flip it. Got nine. Did you get Mike's? The nine. All right, so they dodge out of the way four inches, so they'll go this way, cleverly avoiding dude. Does that make like he got ran over. No, it's fine. They just, just they move around him. Oh. Horses are smarter than humans. <laughs> All right, so that's, that. that's, I get it. So that's the swerve. All right, so that's what happens when Philippot is over there. So okay. Can you move the horses into this area where they were? Well, that is where they were, really. No, they, were, they weren't on the road. No. Well, then put them back. Then put them back. Then because they didn't get there. Oh. All right, we're good. Well, then do I get my card back? Or yeah, you got. You boys can take your cards back then. Oh, we get those cards back. Yeah, that one card. Yeah. All right. Okay. Just because that. And you're done, Velker. That was it. Yeah, it's all my men. All right. So you've got to give up one action to take the reins, OJ, which puts okay. you in the. Okay. And I get three this turn. So right. So you've got turns. two actions left. Right. So he takes the reins, mm -hmm. are you going right? and his next two actions are just going to ride mm -hmm. and give the whip. All right. So there's three inches. Mm -hmm. You still got your 21 left. You got 10. You got 21 to go, man. Yeah. And then Which if you're gonna give, if you're gonna give him the whip, I gotta get you a D. I just realized I gotta get you a D six. Yep. Hang on a second. I'm sorry. What's the rules on the D six? So I'm the deal the is, whip. you're gonna do the, your, that horse. If you whip it, is gonna go one D six times two more inches. If you roll a five or a six, one of them horses takes a wound. Takes a wound. Okay. Which none of them are wounded yet, so... Correct. Okay. And they get, what, a maximum of two wounds or four? Three. Two. Three. Shot okay. right around it. <laughs> All right, and you got a die roller. Ah, oh, there we go. Four, four so more inches. Four more inches. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'll make it. I don't either. It, it, a lot could happen here. We'll see. All right. That's it. I mean, Bob Philpot's dead. Heaven knows well, our boy Marshall Williams Mark dead. Yeah. <laughs> Boker stomped him to death. <laughs> That's straight up stomped He put his clown face on and played the purge. <laughs> That's it. Good st get stomped, noob. Jim, be worried if he starts dressing up as a clown at Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> no, I ain't like clowns. The, rec the recommend <laughs> Velker, owner and filler of Velkerheim. This is known. <laughs> yep. 
All right, so OJ, that's it. I'm the owner. I'm ruler. The ruler of Velkerheim. You need one card, Velker. Where's your card? Yes. It's a monarchy. Where's your card, Velker? I, I already put it in. All right. Okay, and now we're just gonna give you each one card, which I think is what you got coming. Card out Are you going to do your dirty cheater? Yep, I think I will. Ah, oh, darn it. All right, OJ for initiative. Two. I'm ready. Velker? That. All right. Flip him. Ten of spades. Seven of clubs. Seven of clubs. He's got that seven again. He could get... Oh, that ain't good. Mm -hmm. What you got, Phil? Let's see it. All right. Well, Luther King is going to hop on his horse. It's one action. Well, is he close enough for any of them? Hmm? I think I got to get closer. Uh, yeah, you'd have to walk to him. Because you'd walk away from him. Yeah, see, if you walk away from him, mm -hmm. he'll hop on it. Okay, that horse goes away. Boop. And Luther King shows up suddenly. On horseback. That's it. All right. Uh, Slim Jim Crane will hop on this horse. Horse goes away. And he's right. All right, and he'll move his 24. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. I like the way the mechanics work. I really do. Right, Funny. The, the horses have all disappeared that, that got mounted. Yeah, I, I got rid of them. Oh, okay. Okay, so you walked up and you're going to mount? Yep. Okay. Yeah, because i got to keep track because there's only so many horses here, right? I guess I was thinking the guys were going to actually be visible on the horses. That's just Well, they the are. Horse. They are. If you can't see them, yeah. they're mounted. Right, I'm gonna, okay. Um, oh, wait. I can't even make it with one. No? Uh, I need three points for it. Actually, so I got eight points just left. <laughs> Everybody else is gonna mount up, but he's running. <laughs> he he running. Well, he is a kid, so he, he kid. doesn't know any better. All right, OJ. That's a little mean. I turn. All mm. right, gee, he's gonna ride off into the sunset and give the whip. He's gonna try. You got any face cards? Or... Wait, you can't. He don't need a face card. Anything. He can just do the. Well, he gets he gets three sets. actions, right? But so I'm he saying, gets. He can't do the face card because he's not the right guy. Right. That right there you go. I forgot that I say it. I killed well, that man. You killed that guy. I really thought he wouldn't be able to drive after I killed his driver. Well no, they've got that thing about switching, remember? Yeah, I just figured that he wouldn't be able to. I don't know why. I... Mm. Mm. Maybe Gonna whip the horses. Well, it's a total of... Hang on a second. You, I think you moved too far. I get three moves, though, on a seven. Oh, of course I? you do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to make you... I get three actions, I should, yeah, I yeah, should yeah, clarify yeah. that. So it's 12. So it's I'm 12. taking them all as moving. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah. And then I get an additional six off my 1d6 for, for whipping the horses. Two. If you just want to go 18 here. Making it. Not yet. He ain't gone yet. But I think he's gonna escape in the end. I don't think I can make Only need two out. movements. Yeah. That's all I need. Yeah. And this is the same thing we encountered when we tested this, is that you did incredible damage until I got cleared, but then you weren't all mounted. Right. It's oh. the fact that King is with the horses that makes the scenario kind of fun. Because I just can't pick it up. Alright. So all right. that's there's it. I'm that. done. Suddenly you're so fast. Yep. Once you're on this straight stretch, you're just gone. We are. Because throughout all this area. Well, let's, let's also be clear, though. I mean, you did kill two of his guys. <laughs> this area, he's got this crazy curve here that slows him down significantly. He's got this huge stretch where I can shoot him all the way down. Yep. But then he's got this straight section, which I just can't pick up on him. All right. Velker, dirty cheat. Oh, no, not the other one. Wait, I get to chase after him. I have an next turn yet. 
Why so? I mean, we're going to have another turn at that Wait, point. Wait, I went first. Uh, uh, yeah, you went first. I was like, oh, well, wait, he's so far. I, I had taken yeah, it. Yeah. All right. Cards out, gentlemen? Yep, there's mine. Oh, and he's I out. first. That's I'm it. done. Yep, he's gone. I'm off the table. All right, so let's go back to our victory conditions. Yes. Oh, I can't believe I lost. Cowboy consequences. If both Philippot and Paul are killed or unconscious, you rob the coach. If it escapes, you lose. Um, you have the, 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 the survivors give you valuable testimony about the bandits. When proceeding to Act 2, the cowboy player must reveal one possible movement location he did not choose. Okay. So that's actually a uh, a bold win for the for the forces of the Erps. Otherwise God. known as the forces of good. There you go. Yeah, so. whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeehaw! All right, so there's that. Let's go back into the game here, which was the uh, campaign setup. Now we'll re remembered that Velker spent one of his coins that way, and OJ spent one of his coins this way. Did not properly remember to save that for OJ. There we go. Now I can see it. And so when we go to the briefing, we go to Act 2. Multiple posses are forming in Tombstone in response to the recent attack on the stagecoach. We could offer Sheriff Behan some silver in exchange for slowing down the pursuit. Secretly move one space on the map away from Drew Station. Note your new location. If you wish to pay off Behan to slow the pursuit, you spend a silver dollar and roll a D10. On a five or better, you inform the ERP player he may not use silver dollars to increase the number of men as his posse during a game played in Act 2. If the ERP player fa fails to guess your new location, you skip to Act 3. Now remember, though, you are obligated to tell him one of the two places you didn't go to. Same thing here. After the cowboy player notes his next map location, Announce which of the three Act 2 locations you are searching. If you won the previous scenario, the Cowboy player must narrow your search by one space. If your search matches correctly, proceed to that scenario. If you have not located, you go to Act 3. So, Velker, I presume, OJ, you cannot see this map here, correct? Correct. All right, Velker, it is up to you. to pick the location you want to go to. Remember, and you'll notice this, OJ, he begins at that X at Drew Station. That's where he's starting. That's where that stagecoach robbery occurred. He is then going to head out secretly, one space, either towards New Mexico or Sonora. The cowboy, he is not allowed to split his posse. Remain in the same space or move backwards. He goes one direction only. If he goes into a space with a cowboy symbol, he can get help in the scenario. If you enter a space with a law badge, the cowboy player, um, uh, they, on a res let's see here. If they enter a space with a badge, they, the cowboys have to roll a D10. On a roll of 4+, plus, the cowboy player immediately reveals his location. On a roll of 8+, plus, the Earps get an additional silver dollar. So it's ultimately up to Velker to show where he wants to go. All right, so Velker, the first question is yours, having moved. All right. I... If you wish to pay off Behan, spend a dollar. Um... I'm going to say no. All right, very good. Now, you must tell, you, you You can see, obviously, you were here. There were two places that you could, there are three places you could have gone, right? You must tell OJ 
one of the two that you didn't go to. All right, I'm going to be honest. They, they said they were going out of town, and they said they weren't going to South Pass. It's not gone to South Pass, OJ. Where do you think he went? Did not go to South Pass? Correct. I didn't. McAllister Ranch? Uh-oh. No, I did. I didn't go. He went to the McAllister Ranch, all right. (laughs) Oh, no. He went to the McAllister Ranch. That's scenario A. Hmm. Do we have scenario A, kids? Why, yes, we do. Well, I figured you'd think I would go for the short option, darn it. It's the McAllister Ranch. So it is. Let's go to the scenario. The ranch. The Earp posse catches up with the suspected bandits near a small Arizona ranch. Can the cowboys drive off the lawmen or manage to slip away yet again? Six by four. The cowboys deploy within six inches of the ranch house on foot. Bill Leonard, Jim Crane, Harry Head and Luther King are in the posse. It's all the Mormons. Bring them out. So where are they? There they are. And I should, it should be good guys, bad guys. You said they're in the posse? This is this posse. Okay, because they were bad guys last time. That's they are bad I'm guys. Wondering. It's a posse, it just means group. Okay. It's gotcha. a cowboy posse. Gotcha. So I got head, I got king, I got crane. I need who? Uh, you got Leonard, crane, head, and king. It's the same four. I need Leonard. Yeah. They should all be here. There he is. Oh, is it on the wrong side? Mm-hmm. And they all gotta go because, unfortunately for them, they're on foot. Yeah. Where's our horses, Luther? <laughs> what? We had horses, you know. Oh shoot. <laughs> Luther. <laughs> Did you forget the horses? Ignorant. And this is obviously the ranch house here. Is that where I am? Yeah, you have to be within six inches of the ranch house. I thought it was them who's by the ranch there. Negative. I just had curiosity, since this is a campaign, do they maintain any of their injuries from last last scenario? If any last of them act? were injured, they do have to keep one of them, yes. It's permanent. I don't think I've had any. I don't think you... Did you injure any of his guys? I thought I hit the kid, didn't I? Because he went to Lulu Lubbard. Right. Yeah, he did, so, but what was it? Was it a leg? I think it, I think it was a leg. Yeah, I think it was a leg. All right, we'll mark that then. The kid, right? Yeah. I mean, it's no big deal for this for for this act, but it's just something we'll want to definitely make note of for going forward, right? Oh, we are. I mean, that's the thing. Is that that's that's, yeah. that's kind of the whole point for sure. Um. All right. If this space is marked with a cowboy symbol, is it? It is not. I did not think so. Uh, it's a cowboy hideout. It was not. Do not roll for, for the number of horses. If this, no, it is not. Okay. The Earp Posse deploys one character on foot anywhere on the table at least 24 inches from a cowboy. This is the scout. The rest of the Earp posse, posse, the rest of the Earp posse, enters mounted anywhere from the western table edge. The posse is Wyatt, Virgil, Marshall Williams, who you do not get, <laughs> and Bob Paul. Uh, where did Marshall Williams go? He's dead. <laughs> and Bob Paul. So you get Wyatt, Virgil, and Bob. Okay, got it. I set up a little story around here. 
you said uh, one of them is dismounted, or they're one all of them mounted? comes on. Uh, da, 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 one character on foot, twenty four inches. That's a scout. Now Bob Paul is dead. Now he uh, and that, by the way, I do believe is over here, Mike. Western Edge. Oh, Western Edge. Well, it's any, anywhere really, twenty four inches. Put them where you want. But your other boys are coming on from over here. From over where? This side over here by the rules. This side. Okay. <laughs> you may spend These Mike, days. you may spend one silver dollar to add Morgan. Bat Masterson or Doc Holliday? What's he got? Three or four people? Four. Got four. Yeah, I better spend it. Who are you, who are you bringing? Uh, uh, I'm saying. Bat Masters and I don't see him at all here. So, oh, oh there he is. Yep. He's on my side here. What's the toughest na nails? I think that's an extra toughness bonus. If I remember correctly. Oh, we'll bring on Doc Holliday. Toughest, tough as nails ignores his first wound. You can't have Doc Holliday. What? Yep. What? Oddly enough, Doc Holliday has decided to play a little different game. He's the game. mercenary. He flies on both he's little, sides. He's a little bit that way. They don't jump on the board just yet. They're off. They're off here, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought they Have came on twelve inches. My little party that I set up. <laughs> All right. Now, Bob. Now, Bob Paul. You're gonna have to pick one of the many wounds he suffered. <laughs> what you What's mean? that? He had both. He didn't. Off. Did he? Did you not? Or you injured Bob Paul, didn't you? Or did you? No, I, I don't think no, he did. I definitely shot him once. I think I got him in the arm. Yeah, he got arm hit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. And he's got to be at least 24 inches away, and he's got to be on foot. 24 inches away from any cowboys. Where are them cowboys at? They're all laying down over here. Did, did you? Did, did, out. <laughs> have they been having a drink, Velker? Yeah, they, they're taking a nap, and Luther King is keeping an eye out for them. <laughs> I see. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. And I think I am well with out, outside the 24 inches, so I'm good. Very good. The heck, I see a lot of chat going on. I want to check on it real quick. Chrono hey, Chrono. Joined. Hey, Adam. Pleasure to have you. The, uh... And looks like I, I love my group. They... <laughs> Everybody's answered your question. Yeah, this is the free rules from Little Wars TV. All right, Velker, you got everybody back on their feet? No. Or no? They'll no. wake up once they hear the gunshots once start. Once they hear firing. the gunshots start. I get it. And I do also have to go get you, Velker. Mm -hmm. One thing I did forget to provide. I can't believe I would forget such a thing, but there it is. There we go. Do I get dynamite? You do not get dynamite, to my knowledge. Aw. Horse. I get one horse. No, uh, you get. Let me go check the so rules. Luther did remember the horses. Good he, job, did. Luther. he did. He uh, did. One d three, and add that number of horses in the barn on the other side of the trail, available to be mounted for a possible fast getaway. One d three. Got a d six that I can roll. Yeah, best. I reckon I better get you one, huh? Mister Wagman appears to like one d sixes occasionally. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Boom. I got all 
four. Three. Four. So I get a plus one, don't I? No. Oh, I thought you said. <laughs> one D one D three. Oh, I thought it was So I'm gonna put their little heads poking out just this way. You got three, three horses, horses and four riders. Well, yeah, I was about to say you got four. Leave behind, boys. <laughs> you know, kids got the bad leg. So let's talk about winning and losing. If the Earp posse skedaddles first, or by safely escaping the trail on the eastern edge, proceed to the next chapter. If you safely escape to the eastern edge, you proceed to the next act. That's a win for you. That's what I was saying. No, if the Earp posse skedaddles. If you make them run. skedaddle, I'm running. Or if you run, ah. well then I probably shouldn't be. If you are forced to skedaddle before you voluntarily escape, different consequences. And obviously, if you are dead or left unconscious, the campaign is over. Erps, if the all four original cowboys are killed or left unconscious, campaign over. If all three Erp brothers are killed, campaign over. If any of the four original cowboys from Act One remain alive. The bandits remain at large. You gain one silver dollar for killing Leonard, Crane, or Head in this scenario. But not for killing Luther, huh? No, apparently not. And That's you're... just our pleasure to do that. <laughs> We're just going to do that for fun. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. And let me just make sure I do this here. Yeah, one character on foot. The rest of the herb enters mounted anywhere on the western table edge. So that's over here, Mike. Anywhere? Anywhere on this edge you come in with the boys. So do all of us have to get off? Winning says. Okay. Got him placed. If you safely escape, they lose... If any of you get a, get away alive, they lose. Oh. They get a few extra points for they get some silver dollars, but it doesn't count as a win in the scenario. If any if, of you get if away, one guy gets away. Yeah, that counts as a loss. So, so. they win by ah. making all four original cowboys killed or unconscious. So as soon as one guy gets off, that's the end of the scenario, right? No, no, because they can still get money for shooting the others. So I need to get all four off? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, he gets something out of the deal. I figure I'd just have one run off. The other three become turrets and shoot at him. <laughs> nope. That would uh, cause him to get money at least. Unless I win. Well, if you win outright, that's a whole different question. Well, let's see. There are four of them, you said? Mm-hmm. You know, what do they got? Horses. Uh, that don't matter that much. Oh boy, now it's going to be big talk. You see, it's four on four. I got a bad leg, but I also got a rifle. You know what? I'm fighting. I'm killing. This is where it ends. Oh boy. Here we go. Everybody ready? Yeah. Five yep. cards. Five cards coming. Initiative card out. Alright. Uh, Jose, this is yours. Or is do I get... He's gonna yep, cheat. Go ahead. I think you also get to do it. <laughs> but guess what I get to do also. Yep. Because he's got a dirty cheat too. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, I'll give you this one, Velker. I kind of feel sorry for Bob actually, Paul. It's actually... Like, Who's the player? Oh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Initiative cards out. Nice. Flip. All set. Yep. Bam. Nine spades. Seven of diamonds. Seven. Three actions. But, Velker, yours are first. All right. Harry's running with his bad leg. One move action. He doesn't even make it all the way to the stable. <laughs> okay. All right, then Jim, he's running. 
Where are you going, Velker? I'm hopping up. Wait, I said I was going to fight this out. You did. Oh, dear. Uh, can I take dirty, dirty back? Cossacks. You can take it back. Yeah, I'm going to take it back. I didn't mean it, I swear. <laughs> oh boy, Haz is talking in an accent now. He just referred to our guest Adam McDonald as partner. Oh dear. All right, well Luther King's gonna take a shot at Bob Paul. Right, because to us Americans, Canadians have no accent at all. True. Oh, he's set up over there to take a shot. Look at that. What's the range? This is close, I think. Thirty. No, nope, it's long. Yeah. All right, eight or better. Yep. Nope. Oh. All right. Pew. Is he still unprepared? Oh, yeah. He, he comes that way. The Lord made him that way, I'm afraid. Uh, unfortunately. Anything else from Luther? No, that's it. He moved. Oh, okay. Oh, guys, wait up. <laughs> and just out of curiosity, because he shot at Paul, does Virgil... Virgil's also a law dog. Does that mean he gets to shoot now? Is there all part of the no, same No, he's got to be shot at. He's got... He, he the individual, has to be yeah. shot at. Mm -hmm. Okay. So until I shoot at him, you can't do nothing? I, well, I, I think within reason. All right, so if I, like... If I shoot at Doc right next to him, he'll look Yeah, I, I'd say... Well, that's all I got. All right, Mike, you're up. Somebody gets three actions. Yep. <clears throat> oh, he's just outside, sort of. We'll do Bob Paul gets three actions. All right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Out that and he's going to shoot at Luther King. Jeez. That was two moves. But now a shotgun yep. at close range. So that's a four or better. <laughs> he's trying to biff him in the worst way. He missed. Oh, oh. oh what a loser. But, but, <laughs> but he's what? lucky. He's lucky he gets his uh, reroll. He's rerolling his once, his once per game reroll. My goodness. Miss again. Got him. Oh, he almost missed again. All right, took Lucky off. Uh, Luther King. Yep. What happens to him? Let's see. Press the button. That's a leg. Oh, a leg. Oh, he shot in the leg. All of you guys can hit her legs. We well, you, they're trying to lame you. They're trying to lame you. No percent her body mass. What did Pa teach you? Uh, what did Pa teach you? Uh, what did Pa teach you? Shooting at toes? Six or better. Oh, Dude. Lord. Luther King. 12 inches into cover. He can go running into the barn if you want. That'd be fine. But you got to go through the door and go to the house. All right. We'll put the chicken right outside so we know he's there. He's hiding behind. He can't see me if I can't see you. Luther King's gone chicken. All right. That was Bob Paul. All right. Yep. And everybody else is just going to ride both. Turn. Oh, well, yeah. Move 48 if you move both. Yeah, for, that's 48 oh. inches for two moves on horseback. Oh, okay. It's 24 for one move? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then we'll just move one and dismount. Oh. Oh. They're going to regulate. There you go. That's foolish. Yep. One second. Boots. Don't you like that? I kind of do. Oh, I like that image. That's kind of fun. Erp Brothers. Okay, that's it. Let's bring the cards in. All right. 
take one, please. I got trash. one each. Cards are up. Oh my goodness. Dirty cheaters, go do your thing. Take that one. I'll take that one. Oh. Oh. Right, just looking here real quick to see what I have and you never find out where it ends. <laughs> Achilles, aim small, miss small. Give me my card back. All right, Spoke, I'm ready. Spoken like a tanker. Play it. Go. Seven of spades. Seven, seven, seven of spades. Clubs. Uh, spades plays first. All right. Bill Leonard's fanning the hammer into your fist. <laughs> He's dumping his clip. Uh, six for ten. Not, a, oh, not a shot. All right, well, in that case, he's going fishy cup. Yeah, I had a hunch. All right, two cards out, gents. Two or one? Yeah, well, one from each of you, sorry. All right, Lift ready? Mic. Yeah, you go ahead. Yep. Queen. Darn it. Jack. Gotcha. Oh, oh. Maybe I should have ran. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, spoken like a gentleman, Velker. And now. Uh, oh, he doesn't have to roll for hits? He does. I just. We got to oh, do okay. the other stuff first. Oh, that's right. He's got to move back six and then roll 2d6. Oh, oh. Oh, he falls over different. That's awesome. You're not knocked out, of course, but. Well, he might be. He might oh, be. Oh, I am. Oh, he. I, I don't he think. He has a chest and a severe hit. Nine and ten. Chest, chest cannot, cannot aim and a severe wound knocked unconscious. Man. Uh, we're getting out of here, boys. Yeah, here. Look, look what happened to Billy. <laughs> He's knocked out cold. Oh, Lord. It's Marshall. It's the Marshall. Uh, do I have to roll for Lily Liver? Uh, no, you're unconscious. I'm, oh, that's right. That overrides. Mm. Cannot aim. All right. So you're down. Next. Well, Harry, the kid's going to dump his mag into you. <laughs> six for ten. Nine. Is he a gunfighter? Yeah. Yeah, six for nine. One. One hit. One hit. Mike? Come on. In the chest. Or in the arm. I don't know. Four. In the Four. Arm. arm. Uh, what happens? That's a grace. Yeah. In the arm. Yeah. I apologize. Oh, there he is. I didn't. I couldn't remember what happened to Luther King. Yeah. He's hiding in the chicken shed. Yep. All right. That, however, does require him to make it. Well, we got him. We got him right out there. Uh, so you got You do have to make a check. Bob Paul is a four. Dude, oh. a skirty cat how is it? How is it that you do that? I, what's cover, Mike? What looks right? I think this. Twelve inches straight back. No, just twelve. Oh, twelve. Just twelve. You can only make one big move. And then you turn him around, and we're gonna put your arms over your head and give you a chicken. That's right, you better run. You you better run. Yeah, throw your arms in the air like you just don't care. Alright. Uh he's got another action. Oh uh, he that was that was him entering the hammer. You running. He's gonna take a rough terrain penalty if he tries to climb that fence. Think, yeah. All right. Doing the slings and cranes. Mm -hmm. Where you going? Out of here. All right, Luther King's going to check. Mm -hmm. Going to give him a card? Yep. Yep. Okay, then I'll get through it. Uh, yep, automatic. automatic. <laughs> this is. Funny. What was the five? What was the card? The five card do? He he boosted his chances of coming out of his uh, scaredness. 
Bill Letter's done for. Let's get out of here. He was in cover so he could play a card and that he gets to add that card to whatever he rolls. Because Luther King only needed a six, because he plays a five, it's automatic. Gotcha. Got ya. Okay. Gotcha. All right. Uh, is that all your guys, Walker? Yep. All right. Mike, you're up. Since I only got three all of you, all right. so... So the first thing we want to do is try and see if uh, no he's got to move he's power. got to move one to cover he's gonna to have to spend one run into cover, okay and then he can spend a second action trying to get out of this mess. All right, well we get three actions. Well, you, point, are, are you right? giving it to him or? No, okay. no. So so he gets a yep. second action. Now this is where you can play a card just like Velker did. Um, he's got a four, so what, if you like... could have shot into the mud, dog. When did we see that? Oh, wait, I did see that. Yeah, you shot right... Yeah. What are you talking about? You tried to dump your clip into him. When no, did I shoot no, at him? For, he shot me first for that guy. <laughs> I shot at him with Luther well, King first, though. We'll play a three, so that means so, he should... It's automatic, yeah. Just dump It's automatic, three. yep. All right, so he's out of being a chicken. Yep. Turns around. So we'll give our three actions to uh, Doc Holliday. You, he's got another action, though, just so you know. He does? No, he doesn't. He doesn't? He checked and he ran. Well, oh, that's right. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yep. You're correct. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. So Doc Holliday will get the three actions. Very good. And... So he'll move... <laughs> about right. Hey, so payback he is a bit of a problem. Actually, he's going to be shooting, so... That's Slim Jim there. I was going to shoot him. Yeah. You're gonna shoot Slim Jim Cray in the back? Looks like. Like some kind of coward? Like some kind of coward? Uh. Yeah. And you wanna Would use your shotgun? Be... Yes. I figured. Uh, four better. Got him. Slim Jim? 1d10? Chest. Ooh. Can't aim. Chest shot cannot aim, as you say. He doesn't uh, have to roll because he's he's a cool hand. Uh, no, he he can he does have to roll, but if he fails, he can ignore it, and that's his one time he gets to do it per turn, per game. Per turn. Per oh, game, yeah. Great. Okay, so he needs to do it, so he gets to ignore that one time. He is no longer a cool hand. All right. So that was two moves and a shot from Doc. Mm-hmm. And Wyatt and Virgil will just move up here. Okay, four inches. This was a bad plan, man. I gotta be honest. All right, we're done. Your boys is coming. Uh, all right, so now you, the posse, uh, you don't have anybody well, like you that. You can't shoot it. When did I shoot at you? You got to roll 1D. He didn't shoot. Yeah, he did. Who did? He, Doc. I didn't shoot at any of the Earps. I only shot at Leonard. Yeah, Virgil didn't shoot nobody. No, I, I said Doc. Vir, Vir, Virgil and Doc. Wyatt haven't shot at all. Yeah, Doc don't. Doc can shoot anybody oh, he wants. Wait, he's not the law dog. Yeah, Doc can shoot anybody he wants. I, know, I don't like that dog. <laughs> I understand. Uh, you do have to check, though, because Bill Leonard is down. Uh, so one yeah. D, uh, D10, if you roll a one. Ooh. Oh, that was a little closer than you would have liked. No, it wasn't. Really okay. Bad. All right, so that's it. Uh, and just so you know, Mike, had he rolled a one, his whole Wait, po Bob the posse would have skedaddled. Did Bob Polly roll? He don't have to. He's not. He was before. He didn't it, uh, no, you check it at the end. You don't check it at the beginning. You don't, you check, you, you don't. Oh, the order of the turn's messing me up. Yeah, there you go. He's fine. Because he got out of it. I'm so big. Wait, what? I do believe skedaddle is checked. Because at the end. Turn, right? It's at the end of the turn. He has no characters, dead, lily livered, or unconscious. Did, did he go first this he, turn? No, but he got into lily livered on your turn. 
Remember, you went first, right. turned him lily livered, and then he had a turn and got out. I, I'm confused. I'm no, it's it's. Right. I understand the rule. I just I don't remember which order we went in. Mm -hmm. He was. You were first. He was second. Because you both played. You both played queens he, or sevens. He just had the higher. You had the higher seven. All set. So Felker, how many cards you need? How many you need, OJ? Uh, three also. Do your thieving. Or actually, do your cheating. Night, Jeff. See ya. See you, Jeff. Oop. It is a lot like tumbleweeds. No doubt about it. There you go, Velker. That is the worst trade of all time. All right, play your cards, boys. Hang on one second. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's what I got. Velker plays the three to refill his hand. OJ plays the ace. He obviously goes first. What else does that ace? Oh, that's right. That's only useful if he's playing it in that context. Uh, all right. OJ, you're up. Two actions each. All right. Uh, we think uh, we got Bob Paul back here that can move. Mm hmm. He's got a shotgun that can go and a revolver that can both go 16. Yeah, I'm just looking at distance. Before, well, 16 right? or 24. Yeah, so he's going to move the other 12. Mm -hmm. All right, and then I think Doc Holliday has one round left in his shotgun. Is that correct? Uh, I don't think he does. He, he shot he one. He shot twice. Remember, he missed. Or no, did he, he did hit. You're right. Yeah, he's no, got one no, shot he left. Moved. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he's okay. got one shot left. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just looking at some distances here. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's going to take a shot there at uh, Slim Jim. Four or better. Ten. Oh. Slim Jim rolls. Four. That's an arm. One shot per turn. Is he scared? Is he scared? He's not. He's fine. You might have made him a little angry. All right. So that's one of Doc's turns, and then can he reload for yep. a second? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's doing. All right. He's got his shotgun is reloaded. All right. Now, is this fence considered an obstacle? It's it's it be create rough terrain if you try to cross it. It gives you a little cover if you got to shoot over it. All right, we'll shoot over it. That's fine. All right, still Virgil. in close range. Close range, Virgil with his revolver. And you know what? We're gonna unload on him. You're gonna fan him? Yeah. Because correct me if I'm wrong. He can fan him for his first action, then reload on for his second action. Correct. Right, but he's only gonna get three bullets back. He only get three back, not six. Okay. Yeah. We'll just, uh, that was Virgil. What's the cool hand give you? Cool hand means he gets to, I want to, you know what? I want to double check that. I think I know what it is, but I. And us, I, I, OJ, I think we should do it with Wyatt, because he's a gunfighter, so he'll get it on nines and tens. Yeah, cool hand ignores its first failed toughness test. Yeah, if you shoot, test, if you shoot with Wyatt, if you want a fan, you want a fan with Wyatt, because like Velker's saying, you'll, because he's a gunfighter, you can get it on nine and ten. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, we'll fan with Wyatt at uh, Slim Jim. Uh, six shots for nines. Nine. Ah, missed. All right. And second action will be to reload. All right, he's back to three. And just bear <clears> in mind <throat> that even though he's down, it's quite possible for Velker to get uh, old Fuzzy here yep. up. I know. So Virgil's going to walk over here for his first turn mm -hmm. and stomp on him in the second. 
Well, the first, no, actually, this is what Velker was doing to you. Movement is fisticuffs. It's not an extra thing. So you get to do it twice. That's what he did to you. Okay. So that's two wounds, Velker. Yeah, this is this is payback, no doubt about it. Three and a five. And five. Arm, arm and a graze, and... no effect. Just an arm. So just an arm. Then you can do it again. Mm -hmm. You sick jerk. <laughs> yep, we'll do it again. Yep. And again, Velker rolls. Two and an eight. Leg. eight. Chest. A leg He's and dead. a chest dead. cannot. Oh, is that dead? That's the cord. second chest. Oh, yeah. Snapped He's dead. Spinal cord in half. He ain't getting up no more. Bill oh. Leonard ain't getting up. All right. That's He's down. That's a silver dollar for you, Mike. Yep. All right. So that was two actions. Is that a. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That's. Well, it's, it means that there's going to have. He's got to keep checking his skedaddle now. Right. Um, but yeah. that's at the end of the turn. Uh, so Virgil, um, Virgil hasn't gone. Wyatt did, and Doc Holliday did. So you still got, and Bob Paul just moved up. So you, you got, well, you still got Virgil, right? No, didn't Virgil just? Uh. I thought Virgil no. stopped. Virgil's oh, Virgil's Virgil Virgil's doing the stomping. So it's Doc Holliday that's got stuff left. No, no Doc have... Holliday shot a shotgun and so, then reloaded. And then Wyatt did all the shots. Okay, yeah, got it. Sorry. Yep. And Bob Paul's done. So that's it, Velker. Oh, uh, Velker moved already. No, he had. You had an ace. He had a three. Oh, that's right. That's right. I forgot. <clears throat> I'm used to Velker going first. Yeah, so am I. But there it is. Jerks, I won't let this be the case with my family. Ugh. Oh, boy. <laughs> fisticuffs with Virgil. Yep. Slim Jim goes fisticuffs. Cards both ways. Oh, dude's got a Bowie knife. He's got a Bowie knife. Cards both ways. Total hex. Flip it. All right, I'm ready. King of diamonds. Kings. King, King of spades. spades. No! Gotcha! Come <laughs> on! Oh, Velker, you played big. I'm proud of you, though. Seriously. You went sure. big and you didn't didn't, didn't pull quite it out. cash in, but that's still cool. That was still pretty cool. I gotta I gotta check my suits though. I want to make hundred percent sure. Spades, hearts, diamonds, clubs. Yep. Spades plays. So he wins. I'm unconscious. Twice? And a chest. Oh, nine and ten. And I think he's dead. Unconscious. Yeah, he's got he's already got a chest and he's dead. Oh, another one dead. Not Slim Jim Crane. And he collapses as he falls back. Is there a dead one? Isn't there a dead one? As opposed to an unconscious one? That's oh, we still got his gun in his hand. He died with his boots on. It's funny. All right. You got uh, Harry the Kid head and Luther King. Harry's reloading and taking a shot at Virgil. Man, you were just not letting this go. <laughs> I said it was end of and, year, and I'm going to keep my word. And we're surprised why. Oh, my goodness. This is the guy that would charge Cossacks against uh, Cousiers. True. Draw. There we go. All right, so you're gonna reload first. Yep. Three yeah. shot. Three. You got three <laughs> shots. You gonna unload it? You mean? No. All right, just just take an aim shot to take down to two. That's close. <laughs> that's a short shot. All right. Yeah. yeah. I will. Yeah, I think you're good. Uh, so that's uh six or better. Oh, he's gonna fight five or better. I'm going all three. Oh, I'm, ten. I'm gonna fan the hammer. All right. I didn't. I didn't think it was short. Okay. Tens. Ten. Nothing. Oh, Harry. And Luther King. He's gonna aim and take a shot at Bob. Oh, man. It's gonna be five or better. Oh, uh, yep. Nope. Barely. 
there's some pretty significant panicking going on. <laughs> uh, let me take that. I can mark down his ammo. All right, so, Mike, you don't have anybody down, but Velker does. You roll a two or a one, Velker. You skedaddle. We don't, we cowboys don't give up. I guess not. <laughs> we both need two cards. But I get to discard, so. Oh yeah, how many, yeah, give me them all if you want. So how many you need, Velcro? I need four. And how many you need, Pike? Two. Steven. You know what? No, what? You go. You go first, OJ. You go first. I've been taking first time now. I'll do the time. Okay. What card did you give me? Yeah, you gotta give one back, right? Yeah, I'm giving you one. I just trying to decide what to give you. Oh my goodness, no! Initiative out? Oh. Yep, one second. I'm just looking at what I have for... Mm -hmm. Alright, ready. Alright. I've got a jack of hearts. Oh, and a three. three. Wrong in the discard. But, Velker plays. Two guys, go. Alright, Harry's reloading and taking a shot at Virgil. No Venom this time. Alright, so Harry's going to reload, which takes him back to three. Takes him to two. So that's a, what, a... Five or better. Four or better. It, oh, that's right, he can't aim. So yeah, five or better. Five at Virgil. I got him. Yes, you did. Oh, I got him. Look, <laughs> where's he been shot? Where's Virgil been shot? I feel like he's getting flashbacks at this Nine. point. Nine. Chest, Chest hit. hit. Cannot aim. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm, I'm a gunfighter. So, oh, wait, no, that's aim. Shoot. Yeah. I was going to knock him out, but can't. I feel like he's getting flashbacks at this point after two of his friends have been killed. All right. Pointing the show. And Virgil, you got to check three or better. Sorry, yeah, three or better. You got this one. Got it. All right, then Luther's going to aim and take shot at Virgil. He killed both of my friends. You were out of your mind. Uh, <laughs> I said it was angry. I, I understand. I, I, you, just, you, you just realized this, right? After, you were out after of your what mind. he did the last The horses last are attack. right there. The horses are right there. I gather. This is this long range or short? I got him. You did. Virgil? Yep. Nine. He's chest, I think. He's dead. Is that, he's out here. Is that unconscious? Oh, wait, he's dead. That's dead. Shot. dead. That's dead. Oh, Virgil oh, Earp goes down. Revenge. Oh, Rewenge. Oh, there's so many corpses. I know. Good one. You just pissed him off. <laughs> <laughs> well, you pissed me off. See what happened. See what you get. You and your brothers is dead. You and he's your brothers. Oh, Virgil's dead. Right. Not Sam Elliott. OJ. You know that's just like uh, a, a, a a moral a moral mortal sin to uh, kill Sam Elliott, right? That's that's like serious. All right, my turn. Yep. Uh -huh. All right. We'll start with Bob Paul. He's going to move twelve inches. Grab him today. I like these twitching guns. Shotgun toward uh, chicken liver over here. <laughs> chicken liver, he what says. What do you mean? He came back. Mm, four or better. Unlike one of his. Wait, you were chicken Not liver him. too. Roll it. Is that for me to roll yep. it? Mm -hmm. You ran away too. You're, I'm grazed. I'm grazed. You didn't hit me. That's grazed. How do you feel about it, though? Better question. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. All right. 
he's gone. I'm staying in the spot. All right. Doc Holliday is going to... Let me see here. Okay, he's going to move up. <laughs> and then he's going to shoot your oh. He pops me like a man. No, he's got that street sweeper like he did in Tombstone. Five. That's a hit. Chest. He's gone. Just hit. Well, he's not gone. He's alive. He's a fighter. He's a fighter. He's the kid. He's got a. He's got a. Uh, one. Uh, got old Wyatt over here. Hang on. He's got a. He's got to check and see if he rabbits. Oh, Gary. that's right. Let's see. He's all right. All right. And Wyatt. Yep. And then uh, Wyatt's gonna move. Oh, now it's a numbers game. Watch your hand there, Velcro. I can't quite see my numbers. Thanks. Your hand, just where it was, was just covering up my my measurement. I, I just couldn't see. Ammo. Yeah, he he's only he hasn't shot at all. No. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's only got three. Oh, that's right. He he's got three. So uh, with the gunfighter, he gets what a, a plus bonus? One. Is that right? He gets a bonus. Plus yeah. one. He's he, he shoot at Harry the oh, kid. Oh, he's okay now. He's snapshotting you, which means he gets to go first. Okay. He gets, he gets, he gets to, he does get to steal an activation on you, uh, with the revolver. Yeah, and it's you can't aim gunfight. Well, gunfighter does count. What is the? Let's take a look at that real quick. Just because we've not, we've never done one before. I don't know. Because I figure if any time is the time, it's now. Yep. Hey, if I get a headshot and get knocked out. As they say, timeouts do you no good in the locker room. That's. <laughs> yep. Just a straight shot with a gunfighter, so uh, five, or five or better. Don't miss. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Is that like a, a a gun jam or, or something like hat. that? He just shot his hat off. Pew! All right, why? Come... You shot my hat off. Now I'm really pissed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've been why, why doing better back, shooting me in the leg. Also needing a five. These two gunfighters at ridiculously close range. Can I take another snapshot? No. Oh. Got Six. It. Die. I mean, the chef, Eight. Dead. dead. Oh. He's dead. Harry. <laughs> Harry, no. You was the leader. You can't die on me. Oh, he's through the fence. He he's fell. been impaled by the fence. He has been. Does old Luther King wish to surrender now? If I turn in myself, will you not kill me? Sure. I don't trust y'all. Oh, no, they'll take you back. Campaign's over. All right, well. Yeah. Just no guarantee what the jury will decide. Yeah, the judge. Because <laughs> stagecoach Robin's a hanging offense, and you were seen there, Luther. All right. And you killed a deputy. All right. All right. So you surrendering? I surrender. All right. All right. Well, I got to say, this game is exactly what it says on the tin, the fastest game in the West. We got through an entire campaign sequence in a single Night Saturday Red. Night Fight. In two hours. In two hours. With rules being taught. Right. Yes. What do you think, Mike? Oh, it's fun. It's enjoyable. Velker, you still like it? I still like it. You know, it's it, it, it's like a lot of the Command and Conquer type games where mm -hmm. it's just, look what your cards have and then go from there, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it's like Command and Conquer. Going first isn't always the best thing. Yeah. No, I agree. No, I, I think the big thing I would observe is I think you could replay this campaign and get a very different result. What if you went somewhere oh, yeah. else? You know, because what if you go somewhere else? What if the stagecoach Robin goes differently? I, I think you could get some pretty significantly different results, actually. Uh, yeah. my, my well, that would have been one of the things I would have done different on that first scenario is I wouldn't have played my face card, my high face card, and gone first. I would have played something lower and, and, and let Velker try to go first. Yeah. 
you know, I that's wondered, what I'm just saying. I, I'd wondered if we would go to a second campaign get day, like maybe next Saturday night, because I knew after this we have to stop. So I was wondering if we would go into another Wednesday night warfare. I guess not. So uh, congratulations, Mike, but great fun, Velker. Love yes. loved the spirit in which was played. This was a blast. Um, this is, uh, just to repeat in case anybody missed it, this is all available for free at Little Wars TV. It's you there. just have to register on the website. Yeah, you just, it's a free registration to get the the, yep. down, the downloads, and it's a, a free download. They also, if you if you're a physical gamer, you can actually buy a very affordable little kit with figs and houses and some fencing and and all that other stuff. the The crazy part is uh, my wife, who designed, who gave me this the underlayment, also did all the hills. She actually designed all six maps for me that are. Uh, in the campaign so we've got all the maps ready to go depending on where everybody winds up so um depending on the outcome so we will it's entirely possible we'll come back and uh yeah snapshots might have made it more interesting i don't know though because the other thing is and i found this out when Velker and i had a playtest game you've got to have cards yeah that's the thing. You, you know you've got to have cards and i'm not sure you always want well, to be burning your cards on a snapshot and and just as an example here, there's the cards that I have left in my hand, right? I don't have anything real high. The fours okay. are great if I have somebody that's unconscious, right? I had an ace and two twos. Yeah, I mean, it's you can wind up with some pretty rugged cards, and you know, without that, I mean, just as an example, I mean, the two's fine if you're in fisticuffs because you get the low blow, right? Right. And the threes are great if you're, you know, I played one of my threes. But the fours, you know, they're fine if you have somebody that's unconscious. And the nine's just a nine. There's there's nothing special about it. So, yeah. So I mean, definitely, I played that three that time because I looked at the rest of my hand and said, oh, you know, I don't really have anything that special. So let's sh throw off three three or four cards or three cards and see if I get a better hand. Mm -hmm. No, it was. Uh... So there's a lot of good, there's, there's, you know, no one's going to pretend it's anything other than what it is, a very simple game. and uh, But it's got a little strategy to it. It's kind of terrifying how, tho how those three came up here, killed him, and then and as another one of my cowboys charged in, just got backhanded to death. Oh, yeah. That was, that was cool. On the other hand, Virgil Earp didn't make it. Didn't make it. I mean, that's what happens in the show, in the movie. Well, no, that's, well, Virgil gets shot, but he don't die. Okay, he doesn't. Yeah. Who does? Was it uh, Morgan? Doc guy. Mor uh, no, Morgan. Well, Mor Doc dies at the end, but Morgan gets killed. Morgan, yeah. Morgan's a Doc guy that gets killed on the that dies on the pool table. In the thunderstorm. That's it. Yep. Yeah. So Morgan didn't make it. But uh, anyway, so let's see if there's any last comments out there. Yeah. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching. You know we appreciate you. Uh, we'll. I I could definitely see us playing this again. Maybe even given the maybe make them change roles the next time. Mm -hmm. Maybe make OJ chase Vel make Velker chase OJ for a change or something else. Uh, tomorrow night we will be back with Velker. I hope CT we can get a hold of him and Achilles to pl finish up our game of Rommel that we were playing, um, which was a, which was a fun deal. And then um, well Saturday, 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 Saturday. It is the anniversary, so it seemed the right thing to do. We will revisit Isandlwana uh, for the men who would be kings. The the very, very big battle b borrowed again from our friends at Little Wars TV. So uh, we'll have a bunch of gaming coming up. Lots of other stuff. So thank you so much all for watching. Thanks, everybody, for playing. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that's right, Haz. Well, you don't outdraw him. You just play a card higher than his initiative card. And you got to have that card. And when Velker starts out with playing a jack, you got to have a queen, king, or ace. So, anyway, thanks again, everybody. Really appreciate you. But And we'll see each other soon, hopefully tomorrow. In the meanwhile, please take care of yourselves and one another. We will talk soon.